G'day everyone, and today on Nolsey's Outdoors, we're gonna be fitting up a diff breather kit on my 90 series Toyota Prado. Now I've just been out in the Prado so far, so the engine bay is quite warm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the engine bay to cool down a bit before I start work, which is a great time for us to announce our today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Just kidding, we don't actually have any sponsors. So we're just gonna take our sweet bit of time, maybe have a cold drink, and then when this is all cooled down a bit, we'll uh, get started on mounting up our bracket. So now that the car cooled down a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, bracket here and a permanent marker of some regard. I'm just zoomed in a bit so you can actually see where I'm sort of marking it. And we're mounting it in front of this little uh, this sticker here. So basically it's, an, it's going to end up looking like that when it's fully mounted. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up and hold it this way. And then I'm going to grab my permanent marker. And I'm just going to make two small dots where I want to drill some holes to do this. I don't know how well you can see this, but there we go. So that's going to give us a rough idea as to where it's going to exactly go. Um, again, this will end up, you know, up this way uh, with the breather holes mounted that way. Um, so what I've done just now is I've just drilled a couple of holes in a spot where I think it's going to make sense for this to go. Um, that's just going to mount onto that there uh, with a couple of the included screws. So uh, I'm going to grab the screws now and then screw that onto there and then mount the, uh, the filter brackets on. Alright, so. Right, so now we've got ourselves our uh, handy dandy screwdriver and a couple of these metal screws that were included. Um, now I've drilled these holes. What I'm going to do is, it's magnetic, pretty common. Sit down, just get this done. Like so. Now these are metal screws, so these should just tap in. They feel like they are, so that's good. Now yeah, that goes like that. So I'm going to be ultra mega super tight there. That's holding that there, that's good. Now do the same thing again with this one here. Then. And then that's that, and that's that. Yep, cool one. No, I don't believe that's going to go absolutely <laughs> anywhere. It's only going to hold up some little filters, so it's not like you're putting huge amounts of weight on that. I think that's a perfect mount for that there. Done. Now, what I think we're going to do now is I'm going to start with the front diff. So, you're going to need to grab yourself your one of these. Um, obviously, it's got its filter threaded onto that, that's all sweet. And it's got its little nut here. Um, but I'll show you how these go in. Basically, start with your front diff, that literally just drops into that there. And you have your nut here. And it just threads literally just onto that real nice and easy. Now, I don't believe these need to be ultra mega tight. Now, they will suffer from vibration a bit. So maybe, maybe if you want to, throw some spring washers on. I'm personally not going to worry. I'm just going to do these up like so. Just so that they stay nice and snug with that. Now, I don't think that's going to go much of anywhere. It'll have some... I'll have some good little bit of stuff there. So, I'll show you where the, the factory front diff breather is, uh, and then we'll see if we can make a route of some tubing to go from the front diff breather to the, uh, the new front diff breather filter. Just so you can get a bit of a better look how these ones are threaded on, basically it's just a whole thing, just threads through the metal bracket with a nut and just mounts on that way pretty simply. Not too hard at all. Now, but I, don't, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the factory front diff breather already is pretty high up in the engine bay, so that's pretty cool. But um, it's just that little silver cap right there in the center of the screen. Um, so we're going to be removing that one there and putting a bit of a tube adapter uh, into that. Uh, and then we'll run it back up to our uh, new, much higher fact, uh, front diff breather location. So what I've just done is I've just relocated the car out of the sun for one and two. I've just pulled the factory uh, breather out of its hose just from down over there. You can sort of just see that empty hose just there where my fingertip is. Um, yeah, pulled that one out relatively simply. Now we're going to replace that part there with instead this. So this is going to have basically a hose fitting adapter piece and then a bung here that's just going to go back into where the factory one was. So. Um, that'll give us the ability to run a hose from where that breather there is back to our new bung fitting. That'll move the breather location up there for us. Okay, so now that we've fitted up our adapter for the, uh, the tube for the kit, uh, we're now going to run that 
throughout the engine bay, all the way up into that front diff breather hose just there. Okay, so what you can see I've done here is, is if you can see just in there, my hose adapter there then runs in a blue tube up past there, then it zip ties to a brake line just there, and then up into that there. So that's how you set up, we'll probably end up looking, um, but yeah, really it's up to you. If you want to be creative about how you run that tubing, then that's all up to you. That's just how I've run mine, and I think it's, you know, as about as neat as I can really get it so far. Um, but yeah, no, we'll move now on to probably the rear diff, I think. Um, and then we'll uh, see how hard that one is to do. Alright, so found our diff breather for the back end. It's just that little nipple just there that you can see. I'll just put my fingers on it here. And there it is there. I'm, I'm going to try and find a spanner that fits onto there so I can then thread a new fitting onto it. And then I'm going to find somewhere sensible up under the body here to be able to run my tubing to it or the front of the vehicle. Okay, so I just finished removing the factory diff breather and we're just going to replace this diff breather here. Uh, off the back of the diff housing. Uh, it's the same sort of style of one as this one here, so it's the same sort of problem it has, where, and it's still not very high off the ground at all really, it doesn't even, it's like above the fill mark of the diff, but that's about it. Um, I'm going to replace it with this little button here to be able to whack some more blue hose in and then go from there. So as you can see now we've got our uh, hose fitting bung in the uh, diff housing just there. Now we're just going to whack blue hose into that little adapter piece there and then we're just going to run it up under the body so I'm just going to find some sensible places to load that up and then I'll bring it up to the front of the car and I'll show you where to go from there. Alright so after much uh, messing around finding a good run uh, location for the breather for the rear diff I ended up giving it a decent amount of slack between the body of the car and the diff in the rear to be able to account for flex. Uh, then I run it up past the fuel tank, then up past the chassis rails, up along with the brake lines, up to here, and then up into the rear diff uh, breather fitter just there. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for those ones there. So yeah, that is how you fit diff breathers to your 90 series Prado. So uh, relatively inexpensive job to do. It cost me about $50 all in to do with a little bit of common hand tools in use there. I think I had a pair of scissors, a screwdriver, uh, a 12 and a 14 mil spanner, so an average spanner set will help you do that as well. And then, a bit of patience, you know, like, you know, you're gonna end up with some skin fingers after that, don't worry. Um, but yeah, all in all, probably about an hour to do the job realistically if you're not stopping and filming and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, the hard part about it though is, is you're probably wondering, why I didn't do the transfer case breather? Well, the hard part is, is I just can't seem to find it, so, if you've done it on your car, um, drop it in the comments to let me know if you have a link to a great video, that'd be excellent as well. Um, yeah, uh, they're just without a hoist and without maybe even dropping the box, I can't seem to find where the breather for the actual transfer case is. So, um, luckily enough, no, I think I'm pretty confident the gearbox and the transfer case are not two separate breathers, I think they're just the one breather. So when I do find it, if I do, I'll post an update and get the transfer case breather video posted as well. Um, but for now, I think it's in a much better position, having the air now meet up to, like, you'd have to get some water this deep for it to affect your dips and how much air and water goes into it. So, I think if you've got water this deep, you've probably got some real bigger dramas than having water in your dips at the moment. Um, but yeah, no, I think all in all, pretty easy things to do. So, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode. It's been a hot minute since I've posted, but I've got some cool stuff in the works that is a bit more involved than my usual videos. So stay tuned and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas.